looking the part, channeling my inner uh, Miami Vice, you know? You have stylist or that Clay Collard? That's the Clay Collard original, man, always. Who's wearing the outfit that you were with Josh Rivera? Uh, me, all day. I got three. I've only seen him in one, so. <laughs> uh, on the top of your opponent, Primus, he's had a great year so far. Two wins in the PFL, two submission victories. In watching the film, have you noticed a little mistake that his opponents have made? And do you feel like, what do you feel will lead to that more success against Primus than his previous opponent? So I don't think Bruno Miranda can grapple very good at all. Um, and then I think Renfro got really tired. So those are two things. Uh, I, you know, I think I'm a better grappler than than Bruno Miranda, and I don't plan on getting tired. So you had a great finish of uh, Tricky Pitbull in Las Vegas. I think that was in April. You suffered to feed your last time out. What do you feel went wrong for you? that night in Utah and were there any takeaways that you bring with you for this one? Yeah, I mean, uh, home state, I was trying to put on a show, keep it on the feet and throw down. And, and I think, uh, I got a little lax on my takedown defense. Um, I let, I let him take me down and, and he just held on for dear life at that point. Um, you know, he wasn't trying to ground and pound me. He wasn't really looking for submissions. He had a handcuff and was just hanging on. So, uh, I just think I need to be more aware of, uh, wrestling and and not get so caught up on in a striking battle. So when you lose that fight, but you make the playoffs, what are the emotions like that? That night we got following the league. Man, we're just happy we did enough to move on and get to this point. Um, and, and then it was right back to work. So, uh, last thing I never fully focused on this fight, I had to, I had to mention that your fight with Shane Burgos. Is nominated for five of the year at the World Ever Man Awards. What does that mean to you? And do you think that we'll ever see that fight again? Please say yes. I'm willing to fight anybody anywhere, anytime. So if Burgos wants to throw down again, let's get it. Um, you know, I'm in it with Max Holloway and uh, Gaethje. That's gonna. I think that should be knockout of the year, not fight of the year, because I felt like Max just beat him up the whole time and then knocked him out. So. Um, yeah, I mean, me and Burgos went back and forth, uh, and, and, you know, a lot of people don't know I broke my hand in the, in the second round. So I, I finished the fight one handed. So, um, I just think that just adds a little bit to the, like the, like, give it to me, you know, <laughs> but yeah, but I'm just happy to be nominated. I know you just fought in Utah, but when you fought Shane Burgos, that was in his home state of New York, somewhere that he was undefeated. I think he's five or six now in New York. Would you like, if there was a rematch down the line, maybe 2025, maybe you guys do it in your home state next time? Let's get it, man. Salt Lake City is uh, a pleasure to fight out always for myself, so. Okay. Hello. So I have some questions. You are known for fast and furious uh, fighter. Got fifth and furious, right? Um, and you're going in ring with the BJJ um, black belt. Um, how much time do you take in um, training for takedown defense? So this whole camp, uh, since the last fight, I think I put on a pair of gloves once. So uh, the whole camp's been structured around like getting away, stopping the takedown, getting up if I do get down. So. Um, I feel confident, and yeah, it was it was an entire camp of grappling. So, and speaking of uh, takedown and um, uh, training, how much do you study your opponent? How long do you study your opponent? Um, see what the technique is, and try to train against that. So I, I let my coaches do that. I'll watch a couple fights, and then I, I have one hundred percent full faith in my coaches and in, in them uh, teaching me and showing me what to do and when to do it. So um, yeah, I just trust them and just go through the process. So speaking of uh, training again, um, you train a smaller town, but at, I mean, look where you are right now. Do you feel like that's been an advantage um, training where you're training or do you feel like you Gain better knowledge if you were in maybe a bigger Las Vegas. So I've trained in Vegas and uh, 
the, I lived there for about a year and trained there for about a year. And it was just like, uh, a lot of just fighting. I, I think I'm past that point. I know how to fight. Um, my coaches and the whole camp is structured around me and my training partners are there for me and everything is, a, I mean, it's the Cassius Clay channel in my gym, you know? So, um, I, I definitely think that adds, uh, to my ability. One last question. How do you get your game based on fight night? Oh man, I was born for this shit. So uh it's like about halfway through warm ups a, a switch just flips and i'm ready to rock okay. thank you so much best of luck thank you i mean uh, Burgos is primarily a striker, so that's just that's right up my alley, you know. Um, this this fight, we like I I said earlier, I've only put on a pair of gloves once or twice this whole camp. Um, other than that, it's been it's been getting ready to fend off takedowns and get up off the ground and and keep the fight where I'm good, which is on the feet. Have you explained what's the yeah, so uh, a lot of people think it the name is based off of Muhammad Ali, but I actually base it off a guy named Cassius Marcellus Clay. I'm not going to give the whole spill about him. You can go Google him, uh, read about him. Dude's a savage. Uh, and I'm, early in my career, I was, I was known as Clay Blackout because I knocked the first guy I fought out in like 12 seconds. And uh, I got with a promotion called Showdown Fights, and the promoter hated my nickname. So I told him there's only one other name I'll have, and that's Cassius. And it just kind of stuck. Oh man, I guess I, uh, I'd have a Bud Light because uh, they, they sponsored me. So I, I'm going to sit in the Bud Light lounge. I'm going to drink a Bud Light and then uh, I'm going to celebrate by spending time with my family and getting back to work because we got a million dollars to win. Oh man, uh, I'm going to be boring and I'm going to try to win. Um, you know, I pride myself on being that exciting fight and I've just gotten to the point in my career where like I put on enough shows. It's about, it's about winning and getting that belt. And so I'm sorry if I'm a little boring. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Brent said that uh, years are on end for you guys. Oh, cool. So, yeah, there we go. All right, we're going to go to Zoom. Uh, Anik, you're up. Hello. Um, so, Clay, I got to ask you. Which fighter would you train with? Which one would you fight with? And which one would you be friends with? And these three fighters are the three other lightweight semifinalists. Hmm. Train, fight, and be friends, huh? Well, I guess yep. I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight Primus. So let let's put him as the fight. Uh, I think me and Duford could get along. Uh, and. I guess I'll train with the Russian. I got you. All right. And one more from me, right? A lot of people learned your name because of the fight of the year with Shane, right? Like, what opportunities did that fight lead to, like, outside of fighting, sponsorship-wise? Uh, I, I mean, I got a few new sponsors with Dude Wipes and, and Bud Light, so I'd like to think that's an attest to, uh, you know, me putting on shows. Um, you know, I'm still waiting for Celsius to give me a call uh, since I beat their boy, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. <laughs> and one more from me, right? 
half the time you show up to fights with a mustache, half the time you show up with a beard. What makes you decide if you're going to fight with a mustache or a beard? Uh, man, we're going to bring the mustache back during the championship. Uh, I felt like I needed to strap on the Crimson Champ for this one. So, I love it, man. Great promo. Best of luck. Thank you. Mike. Boy, it was kind of just mentioned. Uh, I know when we spoke, you said that you were planning to uh, be boring in this fight. But when you hear Brent Primus say he, he wants to keep it on the feet and he envisions himself being able to finish you uh, in the striking exchanges, does that excite you? Or are you just not going to listen to words because you've heard this before? Ma, he's full of crap, man. That fool's going to try to take me down 1,000%. Um. Yeah, he might be saying that, so I so I get caught up into thinking we're gonna strike, and I I ain't playing that game, man, at all. And there's a sense of pride coming into this one, not only like you said the the uh, particulars in training, but will you feel a sense of pride to be tested on the ground and pass the test and, and show your way to a million dollars? You know, I've been putting a lot of time in uh, with my Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and my wrestling, so. Uh, I, I feel confident there and wherever the fight goes, man, I'm just, that's where I'm going to go with it. So. And last one for me, Clay, I, I like this shirt, but I got to ask, well, you didn't go with the Miami vice colors. You know, I got a few outfits. I got a few. <laughs> that's like Salt Lake City. I, I, had the, I had the flamingos yesterday. It was awesome. So <laughs> I appreciate it. Thanks, Clay. I'm on a I'm on a Genius Combat Talks UK. Uh, Clay, you fought obviously in both boxing and MMA. Um, what training camps do you prefer, boxing or MMA? Uh, mixed mixed martial arts is uh, uh, my passion. Uh, I love striking. I love boxing, but um, you know, I, I started wrestling first, so wrestling has a, a special place, you know, deep in deep in my heart and deep in my soul. So. Um, yeah, I feel like I've I've improved a lot and made a, a lot of jumps uh, and bounds this camp with my grappling, and and I'm excited to showcase that. So, yeah, if I had to pick or choose, I'm gonna say mixed martial arts all day. Uh, and since 2021, you've been fighting consistently in MMA a lot. Uh, so, how's that been for you? And do you like fighting more often, or do you like to have a little break in between normally? Man, it's been a busy few years for sure. Um, I like fighting a lot. Uh, I'm very passionate about fighting. I, it's something I love to do. So, um, you know, we we've battled through injuries, through seasons. We've battled through a lot. But, uh, yeah, I like fighting a lot. And uh, I hope I can do it, you know, safely for as long as I can. Just thank you. Good luck in the fight. Joe. Hi, Clay. I know you mentioned or you've been asked about the fight of the year contender already, but is that something that you look for and think that's exciting or would you rather those kind of clinical shutout performances? What do you prefer? Because obviously with the fight of the year contenders, you get everything that comes with it, the fight, the buzz uh, as well. What would you rather? Man, I just like putting on shows. Uh, I think I've been nominated a few times, so <laughs> it'd be cool to win one. Um, but, you know, any given day, a Cassius Clay Collar fight could be fight of the year. So, And how much would that mean to you? I know you said um, you're not sure if it gets it, but that's quite an achievement to, to have on the mantelpiece, right? Yeah, I mean, it's just... In, in my opinion, I'm one of the most exciting guys in the world. And so to get voted fight of the year, that just kind of like solidifies that in, in my mind. And I think in everybody else's that, yes, I am one of the most exciting fighters there is. So, And what's your favorite fight of all time? Just out of interest. My one of my fights, uh, I, I fought a guy named Justin Buckles uh, twice the the second fight was a five round war and uh mm -hmm. i think that is is definitely one of my favorite fights still to this day so thanks my friend all right carlito last question yes how are you doing today clay i'm very well thank you that's good bro that's good 
So being out there in um Hollywood Park, Florida, what can we expect Friday night under the stars? Uh, man, we're, we're going to throw down me and Primus. Uh, you know, I got, I definitely got a challenge ahead of me. I was hoping to meet him in, in the finals, but we got him first round of the, uh, uh, we got him first round. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to rise to the occasion for sure. Excellent. You know, you always have a good performance and, uh, man, I'm really excited to see you live on Friday.